I'm meteorologist Jeff Edmondson, and did you see this video that was captured earlier today? This is from near Currituck of a possible funnel cloud, maybe a water spout. It's kind of hard to tell because, again, we have that area of trees that's off in the distance. But there's a couple of things that we can take clues from as we look at this video. One, we had a strong thunderstorm. See the lightning right there? There's a lot of lightning within this thunderstorm. So it was a very strong thunderstorm moving around Currituck. Again, as the video replays here, you can see where that funnel cloud might be. And I'm going to try and follow along with my pen tool here as we look at that. And I apologize because I'm trying to kind of follow along with the uh, with how the camera moves. Thanks to Andy, though, for capturing this video. But look right here. See those little chunks uh, that are kind of spreading out from the funnel? That's a sign that, hey, this actually probably isn't just a lowering cloud. It looks like it dynamically is rotating and spinning. And everyone that was in this area did kind of take note of that, too, and notice that. And I actually heard someone's voice back in the distance saying, get back inside, which is the right thing to do here. But again, Possible funnel cloud, this is near Currituck, and this is around 3 p.m. So what was happening? We had a thunderstorm moving from Virginia down into northeast North Carolina. And as that was happening, we also saw this thunderstorm uh, develop this little bit of a notch right here on that last frame. And on that last frame right in this sector here, you can see there's a little bit of a possible inflow. There may have been that not, not a lot of rain actually coming down between where that where everyone was capturing that, where the photographer was capturing that, and where we may have seen that funnel cloud. The funnel cloud may have actually been another part of the storm too, but we see an area where there's a little bit of spin, where there's a likely strong updraft, and also the possibility for where that funnel to develop. So here's a zoomed in view once again. Could have been anywhere in this region. And remember, we were also looking over a line of trees too. So it's hard to tell exactly which direction we were looking. And I didn't get that information. And I also didn't get the specific information of where this person was, where this gentleman was that captured the video. But we're using around Currituck because I got two uh, emails about that. One with the video, another one was from a viewer just typing up just some text, but gave me this insight on what we were looking at. This is around 3 o'clock once again. If we tilt the radar a little bit, I just wanted to show you how tall this thunderstorm was too. Very tall, very strong thunderstorm. So there was a strong updraft with this thunderstorm, a lot of lightning with it too. You can see the lightning. I just turned on that layer. It's in the two-dimensional aspects, so it's right along the Earth's surface, but you can see those lightning bolts. A lot of them with the thunderstorm that was moving into Currituck and around Currituck County and over the water. So there's that area once again that we're looking at. There may have been some spin with this storm, and I saw that also when I looked at the storm velocity or the storm wind within this thunderstorm, there was an area where there was some broad rotation. Now, on the northern side of the storm, this is back into Virginia Beach and also in areas around Chesapeake, there was these Mamatis clouds that popped up. Thanks to Spot on Weather on Twitter, you can see his Twitter handle right there for capturing this. Now, what are we seeing with these kind of clouds? These are clouds that formed when there's downward air in the atmosphere. Most clouds that we see are from upward motion, but these ones are from downward air. So these little uh, bulbs and pips that you see coming from the sky, these are the Mamatis clouds that we have apparent in the distance. So really cool, really unique photo. They're really uh, awesome to see at sunset because the sun will hit the bottom of the clouds and the top parts of them will be blocked in the shadow. So that's when they look even more dramatic at sunset. Didn't have that in the case today, but again, when you see these kind of clouds, these clouds don't mean tornadoes, but they do mean that there's a strong thunderstorm that created them. Because remember, we need to have fast moving downward air to create the clouds. Here's a look at the satellite. This is the visible satellite over that same time span from 2.45 to 3 p.m. And there's two areas that I want you to look at. Once again, this is the area where we had that possible funnel cloud, that strong thunderstorm. And in this area here is where we saw those Mamatis clouds. So that's where that downward air was happening. Looking at it at an angle, it uses a three-dimensional kind of enhancement here. I wanted to kind of point out once again, this is the updraft in this sector right here. That's where the air is moving upward. That's where we have the thunderstorm. 
And this area across southeastern Virginia is where the air is moving downwards. It's going up to the top, top of the troposphere, essentially, maybe into the stratosphere, the tropopause, that area right there, and then the air comes back down. It doesn't keep shooting up into space. It eventually kind of hits a ceiling and then comes back down. Kind of cool. If there's any and everything that you see, any photos or video of clouds or any type of weather that you have a question on, just send it over to me on Facebook, Twitter. Send me an email. It's always fun to do these little analysis, analyses or analyses. I, I can't think of the word right now. But anyway, you know what I mean. That's what has happened today. Thankfully, no severe weather for tonight. Analysis is the word I'm looking for. Have a good rest of your weekend.